official for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. The officials for this match, Miley Dave Jackson. Yeah. Introducing first, weighing in at 17 stones. Here we go. From London, England, and led to the ring by J.T. Allen. And the faction. No, I can safely say definitely, Gentleman George Michael, probably one of the most unpopular wrestlers in the entire Pacific Northwest. You know something, I bet it sticks in his craw when Ray Nassar Ron Glover mentioned that George is a former WCWC champion, a former eight-time WCWC champion. Here he's got general manager J.T. Allen on his side tonight. He's feeling pretty good. Even though he doesn't have the belt right now, he's going to take a step back and let Ryan Taylor have some of that glory right now. But gentleman George looking very confident. He's going to be taking on Latino Blanco this evening. Well, gentleman George, there's been a couple times when he would tell me, Joe, I've won the title eight times. I turn and say, well, that means you lost the title eight times. I made sure I had my running shoes on because uh, he threatened some very, very devastating harm to me. But nonetheless, he's in the ring. He is going to have his hands full. Uh oh, he's got the microphone, speaking of which. I am sick and bloody tired of coming out of here. I don't know who bought these shirts in. I don't know who bought these hats. But I am sick and tired of everywhere I go. Portland, Newburgh, Springfield, and Florida. It doesn't matter. I've seen all these bloody people. shirts off the shelves. It is an insult to George Michael. I wouldn't worry too much about I wouldn't worry too much about the t-shirts. Look at this. Another version of the Deport George shirt. This is this is a travesty. This is offensive. Typical American idiots. Right, gentlemen, George won that brutal cage match in Portland. He defeated Brandon Gatson and hopefully shut him up for good. Lucha star from Mexico, 
I don't know if you could call what he does that he makes his way to the ring dancing, but I mean, if you got to call it anything, you might as well kind of call it that, but I call it more uh, having a seizure. Seizure? Oh, yeah. And see, here it is. You call it dancing? Now, back to Brandon Gatson. Gentleman George made the comment that Gatson's blood was on the ring. So was Gentleman George. George spilled Look at a it. bit as well. Humiliating but, some young fan. That is, is now, so wrong on so many levels. But now it's all about Latino Blanco. He's meeting our fans here, greeting our fans at ringside. Very popular man wherever he goes here in the Northwest. Latino Blanco kissing the hand of Jonah. He's going to have to have his mouth washed. Here he comes in with his sombrero and his poncho. Oh, don't tell me. I see the. I can see under the poncho he's got the beanie babies. He's not going to do what I think he's going to do, is he? Now, leaving the ring in disgust to Jonah George Michael. Hey, I don't know what that is. Stop, stop doing that. Uh, he's, he's dancing to you, Brian. That's what he's doing. He's dancing to you. Oh, he's got the Beanie Babies. Not the Beanie, not the Beanie Babies. He pulls her out from his pants. I mean, does no one understand that? I'm sorry, I can't understand, oh, idiot. Oh, that was not necessarily all a prank. Come on, that was one of our fans giving you, uh, giving you what for here now, Latino. Throwing Beanie Babies into the crowd to our younger fans here at ringside. Beanie Babies went out of style 13 years ago. What is he doing with Beanie Babies in his pants? In fact, he probably hasn't washed his pants in 13 years. What is that, Flamingo? I believe so, Pink Flamingo. Is he making the Flamingo dance? What is that? Is that supposed to impress me? He's having fun. That's what he's doing. He's having fun. And over the top rope goes the uppity Brit. He tried to jump him before the bell run. That was not going to happen, Brian. What a disrespectful move by Latino Blanco. Now he's got a cape on like he's Superman. The, this re disrespectful what to uh, pull the rope. So he pulls himself over the top rope. Oh, uh, going to work is Gentleman George. And the bell hasn't even run yet. Gentleman George ain't taking no guff from Latino Blanco for this masked goofball from Mexico. Look at that, a fist right to the face of Latino Blanco. George is tired of the disrespect. He's oh, no. tired of people chanting deport George. He's tired of people buying those shirts. He, there's a new chant. has a chair. He's choking him out with the chair. There's a new chant, Chicken George, I've been hearing tonight. And here he's showing exactly what he thinks of the fans and their disrespect. A chair right to the back of Latino Blanco, right to the leg area. That is so ridiculous. Find the match had even started. The bell hasn't even rung. Okay. Now, now the bell rings. That was one meek ring, uh, ring of the bell. Just to, just to recap, Gentleman George jumping Latino Blanco. Blanco pulling the top rope, going over the top rope. Gentleman George pulling Latino out, just beating him up with all sorts of weaponry. The chair, his own. Look at him, he's still, he's still clutching the flamingo in his hand like it matters. I, I, I am so appalled by this. I'm trying to contain myself, Frank. This is ridiculous. And... And, that, and now and he's got the flamingo here in the corner with us, Mr. Zane. This match will be over before it begins. Let's do Blanco. Yeah, he almost counted out, but he was able to get in the ring before that nine count. And climbing into the ring is Blanco. Out now chokehold. Yeah, that's a choke. I mean, there's no. I can't spin that another way. That is a chokehold by gentleman George Michael. That's right. Exactly. But very. He, approved, he approves my commentary. Not so much yours, but he approves my commentary. Uh, Okay, so this commentating was approved by Gentleman George Michael? Exactly, and that's what matters. And here you see Gentleman George Michael. Now he is the man on top of this match. He's got all the momentum, all the advantage. He has got Latino Blanco out before this match has even started. And he's got the foreign object, but he just put back into his tights. Brian, that foreign, foreign object, that's racist. That's jingoist of you, a foreign object. Okay, well, look what he's doing. He's taking something off his tights. He has it in his hand. He always puts his opponent in the side headlock and then thrust right to the throat. And he's got a hold of it. Kick right to the head on Blanco by... Look, look at his hands. Michael. There's nothing in his hands, nothing up his sleeve. He oh. is just putting the boost on Zeno Blanco right now. He has not well, got one he, offensive move in this match. Because he just took it out of the turnbuckle and he, and he has it in his tights. Whatever. There's no replays in wrestling. There's no There's no uh, reviewing the footage in professional wrestling. And there you see a beautiful European uppercut. More specifically, an English uppercut by gentleman George Michael. Goes for the press. One, two, and choking him at the same time. Evidently, gentleman George has got a lot on his mind to get back the heavyweight title.
George Michael, you know, he knows this ring inside and out. Every single square inch of this ring, he knows exactly what he's doing. He is a veteran of the squared circle, and he is using that knowledge to his advantage tonight. I mean, I don't know if Latino Blanco is bleeding or not. With that mask in the way, but I mean, by now he should be. Uppercut on the uppity print. Roundhouse right. Down goes gentleman George Michael. Latino Blanco, house of fire. I can't believe he's got some fire left in him, and that was just vulgar. And look at this. Spinning elbow drop on the gentleman George. One, two. That was close. Two.